Hey everybody, are you dealing with gas and bloating? Have you noticed that you feel extra full after eating a meal instead of feeling energized? Or maybe you're dealing with a touch of heartburn as well. Now many people chalk this up to stress or having a sense of the stomach when in fact, there are many other factors at play. If you're dealing with these kind of issues, stick around because in this video, I'm gonna share three surprising things that can sabotage your digestion. In a clinic, I often see patients who suffer with irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, constipation, and reflux, known as GERD. And often, they're taking medications to stave off the symptoms. Don't get me wrong, medications are not bad. It just seems that when you start taking one medication, you take another, and before you know it, you're taking another, and then you're taking a handful of medications, and it becomes a vicious cycle, but worse yet, you don't even feel any better. Now, are you shocked to find out that seemingly safe over-the-counter drugs and stress can have a big impact on your gut? Comment yes or no below. And if you find this content helpful, let me know by liking this video and or subscribing below. So here's the three surprising things that can sabotage your digestion. One, not chewing your food thoroughly. Two, not getting enough sleep. And three, taking the wrong probiotic. All probiotics are not created equal. Now that you know what could be causing your digestive distress, it's important to get the right testing. Conventional testing for gut-related symptoms, gastrointestinal-related symptoms, is often the colonoscopy and endoscopy. Now, when these tests return with negative results, it's important to dig deeper and look for the root cause of your complaint. When my patients have negative conventional tests, I often turn to functional lab testing, such as stool testing, because I want to assess for viral, parasitic, and bacterial pathogens, bacterial overgrowth, H. pylori, and most importantly, digestive markers. So thank you for watching, and if you want to go deeper on the topic of gut health and digestive distress, then check out my webinar, What's Up With My Gut? Simply click the link in the description. See you soon.